But, uh, so why but do you Amanda, think people seem to, well, think that uh, surveys are actually a tool for conditioning uh, minds and influencing votes, no? Uh, why is that? Is, is there any truth to that then? Are you saying that uh, based on your survey, in the end of all? Yes, it's, it, um, that's the usual uh, uh, attack on surveys. But uh, if we look at past elections, um, in early surveys prior to the election campaign period itself, the front runner was not necessarily the one who won. So this is, uh, you can take this as evidence that the, the people are not being conditioned by the results of the surveys. They are monitoring the news and um, that adds dynamism to the uh, selection process that they undertake. It's the news that, uh, that they are uh, looking at and not the numbers in the surveys. Mm -hmm. Pero di ba ni reflect ng surveys generally uh, based on past uh, elections and surveys during elections? Parang uh, maganda yung ano eh, maganda yung, I mean, nagmamatch yung outcome ng survey sa general outcome ng elections. Yes, that has always hmm. been the, the case. No? Right. So, Yet doesn't that tell you nga that there's a, I mean, there, there, there does seem to have an influence uh, of surveys over decisions? There. That there's not necessarily a cause and effect, effect relationship um, there we're, because we're measuring what their sentiments is. And if we measure it accurately, it will be close to what they will be voting for on mm -hmm. election day itself.